Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five tips for using and deploying Azure AD conditional access with Microsoft Entra. Check it out. Number five, check those sign-in logs. In the monitoring section of Azure AD conditional access, you can look at your sign-in log activity. Look at the items to see what has happened when users have logged in are using conditional access. Open an item, click on conditional access, and see which policies have or have not applied. Here you can check if things are running as you expect them and if the appropriate conditional access policies have been applied. Number four, use the built-in templates to create policies. In the overview screen of conditional access, you can see that you can create a policy from templates. It's a preview feature, but there's some great stuff in here. You can quickly and easily set up your policies to require multi-factor authentication for admins, secure security info registration, block legacy authentication, and much more. Really cool stuff indeed and very, very easy to go through. You can review the settings, you can put the policy into off or on states or report only, assigned to the users and groups in the usual way and all the access controls that you need. Nice and simple. Number three, use session controls within your conditional access policies. Within your policies, you have under the access controls, the session controls here, and you can do a lot of great stuff in here in conjunction with Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. You can use app enforced restriction, conditional access app control to do things like monitoring, blocking downloads, and even custom policies. You can configure based on sign in frequency and persistent browser sessions and use the really cool continuous access evaluation feature, which allows access tokens to be revoked based on critical events and policy evaluations. Lots of great stuff with session controls and Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps check them out. Number two, use authentication strengths. These determine the combination of authentication methods that can be used with your conditional access policies. You can use things like MFA, passwordless, and phishing resistant MFA. You can add new authentication strengths and it's gonna tell you right here what category they belong to. So you have phishing resistant MFA with things like Windows Hello for Business, and FIDO security keys. You have passwordless MFA. You have MFA options, single factor authentication options. Very, very nice indeed. And in your actual conditional access policies under the access controls, you can apply the authentication strength that you want for your policies. And you can see how easy it is to do here with the drop downs. You can use passwordless MFA, MFA, standard you can use that phishing resistant mfa as well really really nice and so simple to set up and number one use authentication contexts now authentication contexts are used to secure application data in apps like sharepoint and microsoft defender for cloud apps the list of recommended configurations provide an overview of all the actions that are required as you can see here now Authentication contexts can be set up to do things like if you have a sensitivity label that is confidential and a user tries to access a SharePoint site that has that label applied, then they're gonna be challenged for an additional authentication context in this case, to require an MFA. Setting up that authentication context is very, very easy to do. You have to give it a name and a description. It's that simple. Then in your conditional access policy, under Cloud Apps or Actions, select what the policy applies to and select Authentication Context. Here, you will see the authentication contexts that are available for you to select. And we can select our confidential label, Require MFA. And in your sensitivity labels, you can choose that authentication context. Editing your sensitivity labels or setting one up from scratch under groups and sites and external sharing and conditional access, you can see under the use Azure AD conditional access to protect labeled SharePoint sites that you can choose an existing authentication context. And each context has an Azure AD conditional access policy applied to enforce those restrictions. So 
We can select that context there and it matches what we've already created. And that is going to give us the desired behavior that we want when that user moves from one less secure, less confidential SharePoint site to another, which we want to apply that authentication context to give us some more restrictive permissions. And that's it everybody, that is my list of top five tips for using Azure AD conditional access. There is so much more that you can do with conditional access and I'm sure I could do many more lists just like this one with five more things about conditional access. I may well do that, watch out for that coming soon. And more videos on all of the topics you love, exam guides, e-discovery, Microsoft Teams, and much more. Thank you all for your support. Please do keep hitting that like button, give me a thumbs up, it helps me so much and it takes a second. And please keep those subscriptions coming as well. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments of the channel if you want to talk and ask any questions. I'm always happy to try and help if I can. And if I don't know the answer, I can sure find out from someone who does. Thanks all. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.